In this video I'm going to explain segments, uh, how to set one up and how they work. So segments can be quite useful, especially if you've got lots and lots of different um, subscribers who are tagged in different ways or uh, in the old language, you know, if you've got lots of different subscribers on lots of different lists and you want to be a little bit strategic about what you send and, and who you send it to, then segments can come into play. Now, segments are just a way to streamline the way that you're using your tags, essentially. So you might have 100 different lists and you might want to uh, send out to 77 of them. And instead of having to come in each time and individually select each tag to send to, you could just have them in a pre-built segment and it will uh, streamline everything that you're doing. So what you want to do uh, is log in and click on create a segment. Okay, and then you give it a name. And then you need to select who you want to be in that segment. So normally what you'll do is you'll say it's someone that's subscribed to a tag and then you can select the tag. And you could say okay. And you could say that um, you want them to uh, subscribe to the, that tag, or you could say, you know what, I, I might want them. They could also be subscribed to another tag. So if someone is on that tag or that tag, then they're going to become part of the se uh, this um, this this segment. You could add another filter group in here. Now in this filter group, you might say. The segment is to contain this tag and this tag, but must not contain anyone who is subscribed to some other um, tag. Okay, so that's a way that you can sort of filter out things even more. And um, I mean, that's how you set up a segment. Really, really simple. Um, again, it's designed to be used to streamline the sending of your messages. And you would just click save. Oops, I need to delete that there. And then you click Save, and the segment has been uh, created.